Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a good Christmas. This is Joe from Total Justice Gaming. Uh, we are bringing you, or rather I am, everybody else is at home having Christmas. I'm done with my Christmas stuff for the evening, so I'm bringing you that Ride Changer uh, deck profile that I promised beat via the poll. A lot of you people really wanted to see what Ride Changers was on uh, my build. Um, I do actually run these guys quite a bit. I was really looking forward to the new Ride Changers coming out. Uh, funny story is I refer to them as the Autobots, and uh, I do play Card Fight Vanguard quite frequently. Um, unfortunately, the deck's no longer as good as it used to be, but I run the uh, Vanguard antithesis to the Ride Changers, uh, which is the uh, Metal Borgs, which I affectionately call my Decepticon deck. Uh, so here we got the Autobots. Um, I promise I won't name them the Autobot names. I'll actually use their real names. Uh, for fun purposes, when I play games, I actually call them their Autobot equivalents. Uh, but here we got the flag, and we have our uh, buddy, which is uh, winning maximum soldier form. Uh, he is going to be the buddy for the deck, and we will hop right into it. So first off, as always, I run... Got to take a card to read a card. So right off the bat, I run three Ride Changer Vice Captain uh, Connect Mark II. Uh, one one at a one. I only run three of them because he's really, really not needed with the amount of recursion I put in the deck. But more recursion, being able to uh, tutor out of the discard pile is still very good. Uh, he is uh, counter, activate, pay a life. Put this card from your uh, field into the drop zone. If you do call a size one Ride Changer, from your drop zone by paying its right cost, call cost, or write it a size one right changer from your drop zone by paying its right cost. You can also write it for paying a life. Uh, as I said, I only run three of this if only because I have so much tutor for this deck. As you see, we'll have later on, I have stuff like call the super machine, I have other stuff that calls them out. So I really didn't need to see the reason to max him out, uh, as he's just there for simple more tutor. So I only run three of him. Uh, next up, and guys, bear in mind, I run some really odd numbers because the new ride changers really, really boost this deck. So I don't run a full maximum of everything. So I run one of the spiker unit, uh, spiker vehicle, and one of the spiker um, soldier form. And that's because spiker uh, lets me just hit high numbers uh, for a size one. A credit two is pretty decent. Uh, the stats are not that great, but it's still a credit to um, Spiker on Soldier Form lets me uh, get a soul um, and also has Penetrate with a credit 3 at 9k attack, so he's really good. But uh, the other effects of the new Ride Changers and one of the old Ride Changers just made him a little bit less important. I only run one of each of these. Uh, next up for new guys, we got... One each of uh, Lapledge, at least I think that's his name. Uh, Lapledge's ability uh, just reduces damage. 3-4, uh, which is pretty decent stats for a size 1. Uh, only one crit. Uh, you get to ride him for paying a gauge. And then uh, you can toolbox his grade 3. Uh, he has no call cost, which makes him pretty decent. He boosts all of our Brave Machines. By a thousand on defense and attack, and all damage is reduced by one. Uh, he's kind of toolboxy. He's just there when you really need him. So I'm only really running one of him. It's really easy to get him out because I got so many ways to search. So I really didn't need to run too many of them. Uh, the other one I put a little bit more emphasis on is I am running two of. Uh, Silverbeak, um, the Silverbeak uh, car form. When he attacks, I get to burn for a point of damage. That's always, always good. Uh, free damage is something you oh, I always take priority on in abilities. Uh, he's got a bit of a hefty ride cost, but it's still kind of worth it if you have to ride him. Uh, so I run that at a two of. Um, then uh, Silverbeak soldier form. Whenever it attacks, he deals 2 damage, so that means you could potentially deal 4 damage, but you're still going to burn them for 2, and that's pretty good to be able to burn for 2 damage just for a swing. You can even hit them. It just says when it attacks. It doesn't even say the opponent player or anything, so 
This means you can swing into a monster to kill off a monster and still deal the opponent two damage. Uh, as always, all the rides are the six or left, uh, activate ride effect to transform into soldier form. Uh, really, really like him. He's my preferable out of the old stuff for ride changers, but I really, really like him. Uh, next up, we got, excuse me while I move Spidey around. <coughs> uh, we got three of Ride Changer, four Ride Changer Blast. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with him, he's a 2-2-1. Two, two, uh, he's got Counter, Activate, Pay 2 Gauge, Go Get a Soldier Form, Blast, and Ride him. Uh, call or Ride a Soldier Form. From the hand, uh, when he enters the field or or is ridden, destroy size one monster of the opponent's field. Uh, this could open up a uh, center. This could get rid of something on the field that's kind of annoying. Uh, pretty decent. I run him at a four of because his uh, soldier form I really, really like. So I maximized him out over all the other ones. So next up, we got soldier form blast. Which is out of three of, or out of four of, excuse me. So we got Blast there. Uh, Blast is a 836. Uh, can't enter the field other than the ride change Blast. And then Counter, you may discard a card. Uh, counter activate, you may discard a card uh, with ride changer from your hand if you do destroy a monster or item on the opponent's field. That's really, really good. That's just free monster destruction with just the bare minimum um, bare minimum cost of a ride changer. Your entire deck right now is ride changer. Um, you also can target items, which is really good. That can, uh, if you can get into him early game, uh, you can hinder stuff like Sun Dragon decks before they get to six and go into Dragon Force. You can hinder pretty much any of the Dragon Force decks that, in early game, if you can get them out quick enough. Unfortunately, that means you are going to be taking quite a bit to the face because you can only get them out if you're at six or less. Six or less. But you know, you get free item destruction or flat out free monster destruction, which is always a welcome thing. Plus, like I said, we can tutor practically anything in the deck from the drop zone, so don't be afraid to pitch cards for him. It's a counter ability, which means you can do it on the opponent's turn. Uh, really, really good. So next up, we got, uh, of course, four winning maximums uh, vehicle form. Uh, He's just pretty much your basic Autobot. Good old Prime. Uh, decent stats at a 3-3 three, three, for a 2. Uh, we won four of them because he, of course, is the, his soldier form is the buddy of the deck, and he is the primary focus of the deck. Uh, next up, we got uh, four winning maximum. Of course, I am very fortunate. I managed to get three buddy rares. So two are in the deck, and one is the buddy. Uh, we all know his ability. He's really good. If I have six life or less, I can transform into him. He becomes an 838. Uh, at the end of the turn of the stack, if I have six life or less, he gets double attack. So you swing just for high numbers. You get really good uh, stats on him. Really, really good. Uh, he's the reason why he is the buddy. So uh, that being said, we're done with monsters. We're moving on to spells. I kind of wish they actually came out with a ride changer impact. I really don't know what it would be. Maybe just a Transformers end joke. One would stand, one shall fall. Uh, we, of course, run four of the I've Seen Through Your Moves Riot Changer version. I actually want to know who he's fighting because I would love to see that as a themed unit if they had their own arch enemies, their own version of the Decepticons. But we run four I've Seen Through Your Moves. Uh, of course, we run four Body of Steel because this card is just bonkers than anything Brave Machine. Uh, giving any Brave Machine 5,000 defense and counterattack. Uh, that puts all of our soldier forms into just ridiculous numbers that only, like, Omni Lords uh, can swing for. And the really high up monsters, if even that. Uh, and it's got counterattack. So, always, always good. Absolutely necessary. We run three hyper energy. Um, I didn't see a need for the fourth because we aren't. 
as gauge have we aren't super gauge heavy we are very gate we are gauge dependent but it's not as bad as you would think um so we're only running three uh we are of course running the ride changer form uh next up we got uh ride change and this is that thing i talked about uh we are running just two of it because again we have absurd amount of tutor in the stack uh, he's pretty much return a ride changer from your field to your hand. If you do call size one ride changer with a different name from your drop zone by paying it's call Gus. So again, this is that tutor we talked about where it's really easy to get any ride changer you need just for paying discard effects or just from putting them out there in their robot in their vehicle form and then letting them get picked off. Uh, we run two of it. So really good. Uh, again, tutor is always a good thing. Uh, next, we got three Call of the Super Machines. Um, again, tutor, search your deck for up to one bright machine, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. Uh, again, I just said, tutor's a good thing, so we run three of it. Uh, we're getting close to the end, so we got Prepared to Launch. Uh, now, Prepared to Launch is the set spell that lets you uh, draw, uh, put it into zone, blah, 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 blah. draw two cards. Whenever you uh, ride, draw two cards and put this into the drop zone. Alternatively, you can also run uh, Brave Fort for gauge. It's just I prefer draw over gauge, although you can run the Brave Fort in your sideboard. Uh, so there is that. Uh, next up, we got I Can't Afford to Lose. We run two of these. Uh, there is the Ride Changer card. I just like I Can't Afford to Lose better than this because this works off. Um, play if only you have six life or less, uh, put up to two brave machines from your drop zone into your hand. Uh, if you put two cards in the hand by this effect, pitch a card. So again, you tutor out of the discard pile. You're going to be able to do a lot of stuff getting out of there. And then finally we have watch my back at two of, uh, watch my back is, just really good again. I know I say it's really good a lot, but the ride changes are pretty self-contained, so the, the deck pretty much builds itself. Um, there is a little bit of variant in the spells if you need, but it's pretty self-contained because it was its uh, whole sub-arc. So put the top card of your deck into your gauge and look at the top five cards and put up to two ride changers among them. Put the rest in the bottom of the deck. You can only uh, put uh, play watch cast Watch my back once per turn. And again, you pay a life, you discard a card, so you're discarding a ride changer to be able to go get stuff for the deck later. Um, the combos aren't really too intricate in there. You just really toolbox what you need out of your discard pile via the vehicle form. Um, honestly, I really don't think there's too much about it. The deck's pretty simple, straightforward deck. Um, God, I say um a lot. <laughs> So, there's the Ride Changer deck. Uh, go for it. Uh, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Again, please like, subscribe, uh, let me in comment. It, you can leave a good negative comment. I love constructive criticism. I'm very open to it. I will certainly listen to you. Heck, if you do it on Facebook, I'll even respond to you. I'll definitely respond to the comments as well. Uh, anything that can do to help make this channel a better buddy fight channel i'm more than happy to do it and i love producing content for you guys so again please leave that like and subscribe we're going to be doing deck videos quite a bit because the new set dropped uh i got a load of new decks thing i'm going to be ordering a few more cards from the cardacademy.net uh to fill out my battle poet deck my blazer deck um probably uh give another updated version to that Darkness Dragon World deck I made, the Abigail deck, uh, and my Gem Clone deck. Uh, so, after all that said and done, guys, thank you so much. Again, have a great Christmas, and I will see you guys soon. Later!